Welcome to WordWise, where we delve deeply in the Word of God, discover what it means and how to apply it to our lives. We want to start today by wishing you a happy new year as we begin a new year, a new adventure with the Lord, and hope that you're committed to walking strongly with the Lord and learning what His Word has to say and continuing to let the Holy Spirit be your guide. Today, we're going to jump into a text that really helps us start off a new year. It's Colossians 1 through 3. Colossians 3, 1 through 3, in which we find out how we as believers need to set our hearts and minds to focus on what God is doing in our lives and His presence and power in our lives and how to go about that. Today, as we begin a new year, you might be tempted to make New Year's resolutions, and that's fine if that works for you, but I personally never make New Year's resolutions for it's just kind of an artificial time of year to commit to something uh, to change something, to do something new. The reality is we should be making small choices every day throughout the year, empowered by God to change our lives, to let Him transform our lives. And I think you can make those changes any day of the year. You don't have to do it a certain time of the year or a certain month of the calendar. Sometimes it's more effective if you try to do those changes when you're not pressured by holidays and recovering from holidays and such. So today, I ask you to consider making uh, the ongoing commitment throughout this year to commit to keeping your focus on the Lord and your heart and mind set on the things that He is doing in your life. So start off by looking with us at Colossians 3, 1 through 3, to help us with this new start in a new year. Since you have been raised to a new life with Christ, set your sights on the realities of heaven, where Christ sits in the place of honor at God's right hand. Think about the things of heaven, not the things of earth. For you died to this life, and your real life is hidden with Christ in God. As we begin, Paul is transitioning here in Colossians 3 to a practical section. The rest of Colossians is going to give some practical wisdom on how to live after Paul has established a theological foundation in the first two chapters. But he's starting now into the everyday matters of life in chapters 3 and 4. And as he begins that, he wants you as a believer to remember that you are raised with Christ. This new reality of if you are in Christ, the old is gone, the new has come. You have been given a new life in Jesus Christ. A new reality, a new fresh start. Your sins are forgiven, the past is gone. You're now to live for Christ and live according to God's word and God's will in your life. So Paul wants you to remember, this is a new reality. You're, you're, you've died in Christ, you've been raised in Christ, and you have a new start. So as you begin this new start, regardless if it's January or December or July, it doesn't matter. With Jesus, every day is a new day and every day is a new start. So Paul wants you to remember that, that you are in Christ now and you are to set your sights on things above. Set your, things, your sights on things that are above, as in the heavenly realities. Now, to set your sights means you commit yourself, you focus. In the NIV, it's translated set your hearts, because the idea there is your focus kind of comes out of your emotions and your, and your passions and your priorities you need to be set out of what drives you, your will. And that is the reality of our lives. Set our sights, our focus on things that are of above, things that are heavenly, the realities of heaven. And if you think about it, what are the realities of heaven? God is in control. There is peace, there is joy, there is justice, there is love. All those things in never-ending, infinite quantities. Now, we can't quite experience that here on earth yet, obviously, but you can keep that focus in mind and set your sights on living like God's love is endless, because it is. Set your sights remembering that God's grace is infinite, because it is. You can live like it today, because the reality is, in Christ, this is already your Christian life. This is your identity now in Christ, is you have the love of God in an unlimited form for you and for you to pass on to others. You have the grace of God in unlimited fashion for you and to pass on to others. You have joy, you have peace, you have courage, you have all those things that God can give you. The problem is we so often forget that and we get ourselves focused on the things of earth. And that's what Paul goes on to say. Don't think about the things of earth, think about the things of heaven, the things above. The reality is, each and every day, we have a choice where to put our hearts and minds, where to focus with our emotions, with our will. And what Paul is saying is, don't just choose to focus your emotions and will on God. No, focus your thoughts, too. Think about all the daily realities that you're pressured into. The world wants you to think about fear and how things are going wrong and all the worries of today and all the possible anxieties of tomorrow and maybe even the regrets of yesterday. And Paul's saying, no, don't let yourself think about that. Take every thought captive and choose to think about the things above. Think about the things God would call you to do and the things that God would call you to live out. 
Philippians 4.8 gives us that list of where to think about honorable things, admirable things, lovely things, pure, beautiful things, things that will help you focus and a choice of focus and a choice of mind, what you think about, is going to make a big difference in your life. And Paul says in that final verse, remember that your true life, it's hidden in Christ. In other words, you have great security now. You don't have to worry about the, what the world thinks of you or what happens in this life. Obviously, we have daily concerns and, and we have daily obligations and we have work and we have families and many other things to take care of. But the reality is we don't find our security there. We find our security in Jesus Christ. And our true life, our eternal life, our forever is hidden in Christ. And He has secured us and our souls are secure in Him. And we can live like that. We can live like that, giving away the love and grace and mercy of God, giving away the peace and the joy that God has given us each and every day, knowing that we have an unlimited source and that God will refill us and replenish us and that you can live a life that is modeled upon Jesus and upon the Holy Spirit helping you, small choices every day that bring you closer to God and closer to those who God puts in your path. The reality is, brothers and sisters, this is an ongoing work that we can do, empowered by the Holy Spirit. We can choose our focus, choose our, our priorities, choose where our thoughts are going to be, but it's only through God's power that we can do this. If we give in to ourselves, we're going to end up focusing on ourselves. The reality, brothers and sisters, is we got to trust God. And by doing more and more of His uh, study of His Word, time in His Word, time with Him in prayer, we can find ourselves becoming more word-wise and better able to live out what He calls us to do. Empowered by the Holy Spirit, brothers and sisters, would you join me as we recommit ourselves to a focus and a priority on what God would have us to do. Continue to walk with us and stay with us. And we pray that God would bless you in this new year. Thanks for joining us.